Well, they certainly don't take up a lot of room. Throwback Thursday number eight starts right now. This is going to be a great review. Here we go. What's up, guys? Worldwide here. Welcome to Throwback Thursday number eight. And this one's going to be very similar to Throwback Thursday number seven, where I took a close-up look at these silver 14-gram Ted Hankey darts. These are the signed. Look at that signature right there. Signed 14-gram Ted Hankey darts. These are the atomized version. The black ones are the coated version. And uh, yeah, you guys don't know, I'm so happy to have these in my collection. I looked a long time for these. The signature was just a bonus. But uh, we're going to do what we always do here. We'll, uh, well, they're already opened. But we'll uh, grab the other camera, take a close-up look at these things, stats and dimensions. And then I will be taking them to the board, throwing them for a bit. And I'll give you some feedback as I'm doing that. And then you know how we do here. We're going to end this video off right. So should be a great one. Here we go. Okay, I think this is going to be a good one because as you see here, we've got the signed 14 gram Ted Hankey atomized darts. And uh, these things have been out on the market for quite a while. They came out, it looks like if you can see that, 2009. I was lucky enough to pick these up recently. I uh, got a really good deal on them. I think I paid about 50 or 60 US dollars to have them shipped overnight express DHL from the UK. So I uh, got a great deal on these and uh, really excited to share this one with you. But as you see here on the inside, brand new, never been used. We've got the atomized barrels there. I see that they come with silver points. We're going to have to do something about that a little later on in the video, but they've got the aluminum stems, medium length, and the Winmore Ted Hankey flights there, standard size flights. But uh, let me get these things put together and we'll run down some stats and dimensions. Okay, there we go, fully assembled, and I suppose that makes these flights no longer brand new, but you know what? I'm okay with that, because I've said this in other videos, I am not a collector. I was going to throw these things anyway, and I don't care how valuable they might be or how rare the darts might be, whether they cost $20 or $500, all darts are made to be thrown. And you know, you don't have to group them together and bash them up. You can throw at different segments, but yeah, in my opinion, all darts are meant to be thrown. Let me know what you guys think about that. Do you have a set of darts that you don't throw? And uh, why on earth would you do that? <laughs> anyway, I love the blacked out look here. Looks great. And for the life of me, why would you put silver points on a dart like this? And uh, I'm going to fix that here in a couple clips. We'll get rid of the silver points. We'll get rid of the lip all at the same time and make these things look a lot better. But writing down some stats and dimensions, this is a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in a super short 43.3 millimeters long. And the barrel width right at the widest point here, right up front, 6.1 millimeters wide and it tapers down to 5.8 millimeters wide in the back. These are advertised as 14 grams, and yes, Ted Hankey did play with a 14 gram dart, and uh, the two of the barrels, 14.07 grams, the other barrel, 14.10, so three one-hundredths of a gram off, quality spot on here. And another really super interesting fact about these, if you see this Frankenstein point here, you see that black mark on my point? These barrels are drilled out, 30 millimeters deep, making them nearly hollow. And I think that's the reason why these things throw so well or throw so differently. The heavier weight hanky darts are not drilled out, but only these ones, 30 millimeters deep. So that's pretty unusual for a steel tip dart. But uh, what do you say we get a close up look at these things? Okay, there we go. Nice close up look at these classic Ted hanky barrels. And I absolutely love this nose cone, how it tapers down like that. I mean, just a beautiful looking barrel. What I don't love, if you see there, it does create quite the lip where the point meets the barrel. That's going to just tear up your flights big time. But like I said, help is on the way. I'm going to install these black 26 millimeter target storm points. I think that's going to look a lot better. Get rid of these silver points and eliminate that lip all in one go. So that's going to help these darts out quite a bit. But looking at the barrels here, I got to admit, not a fan of this atomized coating on a smooth barrel dart. To me, it just feels like a dry piece of cardboard. It never warm up, warms up to your hands. And uh, yeah, it just doesn't feel right to me. Some people like them. I do not. I much, much prefer the silver barrels instead. I think they offer a lot more grip. And uh, as a result, I'm going to give these a grip level one and a half on a scale of one to five. But I'm going to grab my repointer and uh, say goodbye to these silver points. Here we go. Okay, one last look. There's the 10 hanky darts with the silver points. And I'll be right back here in just a second. A few moments later. And we're back with the after. What do you guys think? I think the black points now match the rest of this dart much, much better. Silver points just weren't doing it for me. And on top of everything else, we've eliminated that lip on the front end of the darts. 
So uh, all in all, a huge improvement. But what do you say we get these 14 gram darts on the board? I'll give you a little bit of feedback as I'm throwing them. So here we go. This should be interesting. Okay, I'm not too sure how this is going to go. Warm-ups were just ugly. Not pretty whatsoever. But let's have a few throws with the 14 gram 10 hanky darts, the atomized version. And the reason why warm-ups weren't going too well is because I'm using the stock setup. Normally, if I played with a dart this light, this extremely light, I would use my own stem and flights just because those little flights that I use makes the dart get to the board so much more quicker. And uh, these kind of act like parachutes for me. The dart just flops all over the place. Everything's going left. So we'll see how this goes. And you know, I don't know how Ted Hankey or Stephen Bunting, I don't know how they do it. They both play with a dart, well, Ted 14 grams, Stephen Bunting even lighter at 12 grams. Both standard size flights, both world champions. Blows my mind. Don't know how they do that. I mean, I enjoy a light dart, but right around 18 grams is my cutoff where I can throw it somewhat consistently. Hey, treble 19. <clears throat> but look at this second dart. I mean, that thing is, the flight is over blocking the one segment. So not having much luck. But you know, these darts were offered in 21, 23, and 25 grams. And uh, Argos in the UK, Argos? Yeah, Argos in the UK offered a 24 gram version that came in a coffin case. Those are really nice, but the heavier versions of this dart, they fly nothing like these things. And that's because the heavier versions, they're not drilled out at all. They're, you know, just a normal depth in the bag, just enough to screw a stem in. You know, these being drilled out 30 millimeters deep makes them fly completely different. So if you haven't tried the 14 gram version, I would recommend it. I mean, good luck trying to find a set though. These things are so rare nowadays. And one of the great features, and I mentioned this in the Throwback Thursday number seven video, is because they're, wow, again, that's in the treble five. The flight is blocking the treble one. Flopping all over the place. Oh, as I say, oh, another feature great about these is that because they're drilled out so deep, you can add tungsten putty or a tungsten insert, and you can bump the weight 14 grams, probably all the way up to 20 grams, and anything in between. So really versatile there. Whoops. That slipped right out of my fingers. All right, 18s. Treble 18. Hey, get in there. <clears throat> All right, last throw right here. I don't want to embarrass myself too much. I'm probably not going to have the averages up there just because nothing special. <laughs> that was almost a 12. Hey, treble 20 on the last one. All right, I'll take that for sure. Well, there it is. That wasn't the best, but nonetheless, I still love these darts. It's a great piece for my collection. I've got a spot all set right next here, uh, right next to the silver 14 gram version. So uh, yeah, really happy to score these things. But as always on this channel, I did manage one last clip for you. So hope you enjoy this one. It was not easy. Ooh, nice deflection. Boom! Get in there. Well, perfect place to end the video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the close-up look at a huge part of my collection here. One of the best pieces, the signed when more Ted Hanky darts. I do have a spot for them right next to my silver ones here in the stand. Silver 14 gram ones that I reviewed a couple months ago. Actually, I think it was Throwback Thursday number seven. Well, anyway, guys, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up are always appreciated here. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.